guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a baby girl nursery tour in a small space. So I live in a two bed flat which is quite small so I've tried to do the best I can with Natalie's nursery. So now I'm going to actually show that to you, tell you where things are from and just show you the layout of it. So let's get on with the video. <laughs> Natalie's room on the left hand side you have this clothes rack. This is mainly where I keep my clothes because I don't have enough space in my room for an actual wardrobe so we decided to use this clothes rack and have it in Natalie's room. It was from Argos, it was between 30 and 60 pounds. So on here how it's laid out is all of my clothes on the black hangers then we have a couple of Natalie's three to six months clothes like her some dresses and her coats, things that are going to crease if they do, obviously if they've gone in a drawer they're going to crease so we left them hung up. I have six to nine month clothes and then nine to twelve month clothes at the back there. Then under there I have a like big ottoman storage box and that was from B&M and that was £20 in this pink crushed velvet. That's where me and Tony keep all of our shoes. And if you come over, this strange looking thing here is actually a TP tent, which I got for Natalie for Christmas. So it's just all folded away until nearer to Christmas. Then you have um, a Christmas present here and then some other Christmas presents I've like just stored under the ottoman. Then you have a little balance bike, which I've got her for her birthday. Along with this bag here with some clothes. I'm just starting to get some birthday and Christmas presents. There's a book at the back which I got her as well. I got um, the balance bike from someone on Facebook and I got the book from Aldi. It was about £2.15. Here I have a nappy cake that I started making. It's for a friend who's due a baby in September. I just need to actually get some ribbon to decorate it properly and then I can drop it off to her. Then we have this really big window um, and then we have these dusky pink curtains which were from Argos and they were about, they were £35 or £25. Then coming over here, you have this really pretty like dusky pink rose wallpaper. That was from b and I'm not too sure how much it was per roll so unfortunately I can't tell you that. Then you have Natalie's cot. So I'm not sure where this cot was from or how much it was purely because I was given it from a um I was given it from my previous manager before I went on maternity leave. He gave me this. And then underneath her cot, I sort of use it as a bit of storage. So we've got some size three nappies, which is what she'll be going into very soon. I then have her travel cot and her travel cot mattress under there. And um, to the side of her cot, I have her play gym folded up. And I also have our drying rack for the clothes because I do use Natalie's room as sort of like my laundry as well. And then if you come in, come a bit closer into her cot, I have this little cot mobile that I made for her. I got the idea from another YouTuber. It's called a Gobi Mobile for like a Montessori style. So if you are interested, just look into that on YouTube. I then have her little bunny white noise machine. Uh, she has her little Peter Rabbit toy, which she absolutely loves. She can't sleep without that, so that's always in here. And then just following the cot rounds, I do have a hoover because we are short on storage in our flat, as I've said. So I do have that there. I then have her big, like, six drawer chest of drawers and that was from ikea i paid 30 pound for it because i got it from a friend so i actually use this as her mini changing area so i have a changing mat there 
and then I have this little basket which has got everything in there. I will be doing a nursery organisation video so stay tuned to that and I'll go a bit more in depth of what's actually in the basket, what's in all of her drawers and things like that. So then I just have her sort of like toiletries and wipes. Then I have this little box here which has got all of her headbands in, her two little pairs of shoes and the grow egg room thermometer that was from Argos and I mentioned that in my newborn must-haves video so please go and check that out if you haven't already. Then I have four tubs of the SMA Pro One Milk, this is what Natalie's on at the moment and I like to get four at a time just because it lasts just a month and then there's no risk of me running out so then as soon as I get down to the last tub I go and buy another four to keep us always topped up. And then I just have this little lamp and a couple of her cuddly toys. I have a little money box at the back there. And then I have this really cute, like, if I just move the milk a little bit. I just did these really cute handprint and footprints. And then I just have a little photo of me and Natalie as well. And I was actually gifted that. Um, a friend of mine gave me it so I could actually do that with Natalie when <laughs> she was... um old enough to sort of do it without wiggling away and keeping her hand in a fist so we did actually manage to get that done when she was about nine or ten weeks old so that's everything for my room tour i know it was quite quick um and short and sweet it's just because we only have a really small space for natalie's nursery so i didn't want to over clutter it with things so i literally kept it really minimalistic with just everything that she needed so I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.